Hey Taurus, welcome to our telepathic message on this segment of the teletext. If you guys are new, we do an intimate conversation between two people. All right, I do a them versus you. We're going to get the energy of the person on this side, which is usually a cross watcher. I also do Taurus energy and get Taurus's perspective in regards to this relationship dynamic and I put it on the left. Well, the right, sorry. You can flip and reverse the roles based off of how you feel you resonate with the energy specifically. At the end, I get the advice for both the cross watcher and Taurus in regards to this dynamic and let spirit close out the message. Okay, so let's see. I kept hearing earlier up, up, up. So if you've ever seen the cartoon up, we're going to kind of go off that, that, that moving. So if you know the relationship dynamic between the old man and the woman, right? The old man was, well, he's not an old man. When they met, they were younger. They were kids. She was very ambitious, vivacious, and he had the personality type of someone that just was enamored by her. Like, yeah. Yeah. So that relationship dynamic is kind of like what we're looking at today. So if you really resonate with that movie, that movie, I feel like there's a conversation to be had. All right. So let's see. We're going to put the masculine energy over here. Yeah. Resilient, bold, sassy. Okay, so one thing's for certain, this person is not the aggressor, okay? They're more of the gentle soul, um, mm, but they love, I feel like this, this, the masculine energy loves that in another person, okay? This person may love that about you. They're pretty much saying like, I'm not the bold, I'm not the, the aggressive one. Taurus is the aggressive one. Taurus is the one that is, you know, they want to do all the talking back and they're the one that's telling me what's going to be happening type of energy. Okay. And then Taurus, look at there. Great gratitude. Gratitude. <laughs> Why can't I talk? Gratuity? Something about tax. Something can be very taxing. This relationship can be very taxing on you. Consciousness of four. Hmm. Well, I do feel like this is a step up from the materialistic consciousness, but this there is a cap with this person. I feel like you are You've outgrown this connection with someone. This part this masculine energy may be a little boring. When I say boring, they they don't really need a lot of uh, thrill, adrenaline, adventure. This person doesn't need a lot of adventure. They're quite happy and complacent with um, a very simple life. This is a very simple life, life type of person. And then we have deception here. So there are some things that happen between you and this person, lying, um, third party situations, either on your half or the other person's behalf. I do feel like the masculine situation is kind of upset about something that went down between the both of you. Huh. I get the vibe that this masculine energy is pretty much saying that the feminine energy is has gotten themselves and they always find themselves in situations where people are lying to them, people are cheating on them. I'm seeing like Forrest Gump. So how he loved the blonde-headed girl. Um, 
she could always come back to him but she never chose him or she never wanted to be with him she didn't see him like that in a romantic way um but she loved him so it was like kind of like that dynamic that's what I think this masculine energy is saying you never really loved them you've always chose connections that that would lie to you mistreat you and so I think this person kind of has a a bitter sweet feeling in regards to anyone that reminds them of you or your type let's see what they want to say Yeah, they're not, they are definitely not trying to be with someone that's combative and aggressive and needing a lot of attention. What's, what's this, what's this person's message? What's your message to Taurus? This person doesn't want to work with a third party person. So if you have, if you're a Taurus that has an ex ex-spouse or ex-relationship this person doesn't want to have to they don't want to have to deal with you and whatever baggage that comes along with you even if it comes in the form of a person or where you gotta like co-parent coexist, or all that other type of stuff they're like nah because when they want to spend quality time with you and they want to see you and you have to say Hey, I can't come or I can't do this because I have kids or I have, you know, I have to get permission. They're like, mm, nah, I don't really want to do that. Like it is something that will only be temporary. I can't really see myself settling down when I'm in town or when I'm around. When you're in town, we can see each other. But to like, we can have a good time together, but nothing too permanent is what they're saying. Especially if you're at a distance, they're like, how would that ever work? You're so far away. I live here. You live there. All right, Taurus. I feel like at one point, Taurus, you felt like you guys could overcome this challenge. So let's see, Taurus, what's your message to this person? What's your comeback? You're not hearing that in reverse. So we have message in reverse. You feel like it's this person's loss and you're freeing yourself. Usually you don't give up on people. Usually you keep pursuing people, but I feel like you are taking it as with a grain of salt and you are bowing out gracefully. Like you have no intentions of trying to convince this person that y'all could work overcome that challenge if they can't see that themselves. I think you're you're bowing out gracefully. You're like, there's no need to open up that can of hurt where you're sitting there trying to convince another person that you're worth it or, you know, putting forth the effort would be worth it. So let's see who this person is, child. Okay, so they're coming up as the Queen of Swords um, energy. Interesting. Taurus, there's a version of this person where you remember when they used to be super judgmental. This person may be very judgmental about what it is that you do. Um, I'm picking up this energy of like an intellectual person that 
knows a lot or knows it all. Hmm. It's like, damn, I remember when you used to be like the shit. I remember when everybody used to want you or something like that. This may be someone projecting that back onto you. I think some hurt feelings reside here. Yeah, you've been on a break from this person. You are taking a hiatus. This entire situation is too much. You got to regroup. You need to heal. You need a four of swords. Okay. So I feel like you're not even taking messages right now. You're not even looking. You're not even trying to be on anybody's radar. You're just trying to be grateful. And so if this person is projecting that and trying to tell you the reasons why you don't have it all together right now, I don't think you're really letting that message seep into your subconscious mind. You're like rebuking it as much as you can. Yeah. This person is definitely sending you telepathic messages wanting you to make better decisions and do this and do that. Be this type of person so you don't have to, you know, suffer from loss. I don't know why this person feels like they should have to do that in your life. Clarity. Because I feel like you can kind of see the truth as to why this person is doing that. Like they don't really care about. There's too many encounters between this person over here. Coming off like two face. Hold on. Like I was saying, there's too many encounters where this person has come off um, two face. Saying one thing to you and then kind of like laughing. You can read between the lines. You can see clearly that this person is really just finding it amusing. That things haven't worked out for you since then. Okay, so if this is someone that you've been talking to or you have good friendships with them. They're not genuinely happy. Even if you guys are just choosing to be friends but y'all may not ever be in a relationship. This person genuinely kind of is scorned by feeling like a lot of your success was based off of their pain or you guys' separation or breakup. That's what I'm seeing here. So they're looking at this connection like, hmm. Do I really care if you do better in life? Not really. Even if they were, even if y'all were young, six of cups. Yeah, this person is not trying to, they don't have fun memories. They don't, they don't have fond memories of you guys' past together. They have negative memories. Not good memories at all. Because as far as they're concerned, you're just rubbing it in their face, Taurus. That you're successful and that you're a lot stronger since this connection. Majority of your success was based off of this pain or this trauma. So every time that they see you and y'all come in contact with each other, you make this person feel disempowered. You make them feel like an embarrassment, like the person that got away. So you may be Taurus. This person is looking at you like you judge them. But I feel like they're judging you, but accusing you of judging them. It's really their own self-pity.
Like all the things that you talk about is really boring to this person. Whoever, who is this person? This is someone definitely from your past or your childhood. This person has deep resentment towards you. Whatever you got going on in your life, they are not happy for you as far as they're concerned. If they're holding on to baggage, you need to be holding on to baggage too. Because there are parts of that story, they remember it differently than the way that the narrative that you're saying it in. They remember the story differently. Six of Wands. You were not a good person back in the day is what they're saying. Back in the day, you were not a good person. It wasn't going to work. Seven of Coins in Reverse. You didn't invest in the connection or you stopped investing in the connection. So you can focus on your career and this person put themselves first or you did. Take it how it resonates. This person feels like they stopped investing in you to pick themselves up because you left them with a gaping hole. Five of cups. You ghosted them. You stopped talking to them and and <clears throat> and they didn't do anything to you and it was unfair. So they have absolutely no intentions of forgiving you, Taurus. I don't care if you try to do everything nice for them, try to tell them that they that you didn't know what you know now as an adult. They don't care. Four of Wands. Damn. Down, down, down. I see you accepting that you won't be able to build anything with this person. You can't please this person. This person won't let you get... This person won't allow you to get to know the new version of you. This person has too much built up resentment towards you. To see you in as this version as the adult and to see things from a higher perspective, they're still stuck on the fact that you of how things ended and they're not meant to uh, excel with you, graduate with you. I feel like you have genuinely found peace made peace with that moment in time and you would like this person to get to know this version of you but this person is too stubborn and resentful and so you're asking yourself do i want to be barbed wire to someone that's going to kind of make my life a living hell for the rest of my life due to something that happened when we were fucking kids like someone is holding a grudge against you before you were old enough to even make mature decisions this person is resentful towards you like how and then on top of that they want you to stay it's like they it's like they casted that curse over you where for the rest of your life you're single and you'll never be able to move on and I'm going to be the person that got away. And as long as you are continuing to believe that and live like that, this person wins. They they get to laugh at your misery. If you give them that that power. And therefore, no relationship works. And it's not that you can't move on. It's that this person has used the universal laws in an unhealthy way. Yeah, Page of Swords. They have malicious and malicious. Yo, did I say that right? Malicious. My tongue is broken. My tongue don't work, y'all. Malicious intention. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. At this point, y'all should be able to, you know, you should be able to tell I'm very uneducated. <laughs> I'm very uneducated. I'm very ignorant and belligerent. And, you know, and nothing about me studious and sharp. I just watch a lot of movies. <laughs> And because I watch a lot of movies, no, I don't watch a lot of TV. I'm lying. I don't know what I do. What I do? I do Nathan. Nathan. So you're going to see me describe a lot of things because I am not a professional. This person could have given you 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 doing something good here Taurus don't let this person their poopy head don't let them make you feel like you are not worth it you've done a lot of work on yourself I can see it you're grateful you're humble you're remorseful and anybody that you ever go towards or that you ever allow into your life even to befriend them that makes you feel like you're not worth forgiving even if they never tell you that, but you pick up on it and they're just never giving the relationship a try or an honest try. It's their loss, not yours, because you are an awesome person today. The energy that I'm picking up on. You worked on yourself. You may have been a lot of things in your in your development of life. But in spite of all those things. You took time to work on you. And that speaks volumes. And so as you come out of isolation and you come out of this shell, this hermit mode and all those different things, you're a catch. And these people won't be able to lie to you no more. This person won't be able to tamper in your love life anymore as an obsolete third party. As a phantom third party that just tries to project into your life for your entire life. They have no hold or jurisdiction over you. Let's get the advice. You're doing a great job. Advice for the cross watcher. Spirit, what advice do you have for this cross watcher? Sorry. We have release. Spirit's advice to you, Cross Watcher, is it's time to let go of resentment. It's time to forgive. We have release here. Ending endings that lead to new beginnings. The need to release situations or people that hold you back. Spiritual transformation. Okay. You see that? This entire energy about here, we were talking about releasing. There's no confirmation. These deep emotions of resentment. Listen to your intuition and pay attention to the signs from the divine. Unnecessary worry. Let go of your fears. Revelations that will make everything clear. So I feel like in connection, Taurus... Your presence is making someone aware of their deep-seated emotions and where they stem from. But it's not your job to continue being that ultimate mirror in someone's life. For them to continue seeing their ugly. It's time for you to also allow them to learn the hard way. Okay? Because you won't be there to allowing them to live rent free in your head and they won't have you to project onto leaving them with no mirror to play with except to see themselves because you're out of the vicinity you're out of the way and then that's when the healing will begin for them as long as you're sitting around and you're still there you're the distraction in this person's transformation okay so let's get your advice Spirit has really been giving great advice. I love it. (laughs) 
I don't know why that part makes me laugh. I just started doing it. <laughs> I think I have a new guide. And my new guide is so much fun. Mm -hmm. Anyways. Your advice, Taurus, is the two of swords. Let's read the card. Being unable or unwilling to make a decision. Follow your own heart rather than trying to make others happy. Pretending there is no problem. Overanalyzing a situation. Spirit, clarify this two of swords. We have renewal. Damn, hot diggity damn. I feel like, you see how you, this person has release and you have renewal. Release, renewal. Release, renewal. Break it down. Break it down. Break it down. Break it down. All right. Renewal. Reviewing the past with compassion and forgiveness. Reviewing the past with compassion and forgiveness. Time to head in a new direction. Clarity on your life purpose. In your heart, you know what to do. I can't make this shit up. I can't make this shit up. This connection, this childhood relationship has been a major block in your life. But you're elevating. You're you're releasing that baggage off your heart. You're man, you know what to do. You're giving it back to the universe with love. Let's see what the overall energy, bottom of the deck. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Loyal, dedicated, protective, apprehensive. Plan carefully before taking action, but then get going. Pay attention to the details. Wait for perfect timing. A angel, a guardian angel or someone who watches over you. That's you got a guide or an angel. I'm telling you. That's overseeing something for you. Your perception. Your perception. Maybe very blunt. I see you taking one last analytical look at something. You needed to take this. You needed to do this for yourself. You needed to go and see if there was anything there. You were spiritually guided to do that. I'm proud of you, Taurus. I, I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, Taurus.